What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, legendary, former five-division world champion, former pound-for-pound -pound king, retired, undefeated, 50-0, the man known as Money, Floyd Money Mayweather, turned promoter and CEO of Mayweather Promotions, who promotes the highly anticipated career of undefeated two-division world champion, currently the WBA lightweight world champion, superstar boxer, Javante Tank Davis. And Javante Tank Davis is heading into a highly anticipated showdown in which we've been looking to see Javante Tank Davis in step-up fights, right, in bigger fights. And he's going up against four-division world champion Mexican superstar boxer Leo Santa Cruz, October 31st. Now, the original date was scheduled for October 24th, but they moved it back from Connecticut on October 24th to October 31st in San Antonio, Texas at the Alamo Dome, where you will have fans be able to attend this live sporting event for the first time in boxing, right? We haven't had fans attend live sporting events in the sport of boxing in quite some time. So with that said, we're going to have... Um, a massive showdown, pay-per-view showdown on our hands October 31st. Uh, nonetheless, um, Floyd Mayweather sees this as his version of when he fought Arturo Gotti, right? When he moved up to 140 pounds and he fought the action-packed fighter in Art Arturo Gotti. Arturo Gotti was in fight of the year type of fights uh, with when he fought um, Mickey Ward, you know, uh, Arturo Gotti, was in huge, you know, uh, uh, action-packed fights, to say the least, okay? And uh, to a degree, that was Floyd Mayweather's, I want to say, uh, coming out party. But, you know, uh, the thing about it is, Floyd Mayweather was already a superstar prior to that. Uh, but that was the fight. I believe that was Floyd Mayweather's first pay-per-view event. And uh, that was Floyd Mayweather's, quote-unquote, coming out party, right? And uh, Floyd Mayweather absolutely dominated Arturo Gotti. Uh, that was back in June of 20, 2005. So that was about 15 years ago now. Uh, and this was this took place in Arturo Gotti's backyard in um, Atlantic City, New Jersey. Uh, and Floyd Mayweather dominated Arturo Gotti. He stopped Arturo Gotti in that fight. I believe it was in the fifth or sixth round, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and he, it was just a showcase. It was just a mismatch, a complete mismatch to say the least. Uh, he did whatever he wanted to do in that fight. He showcased, and it's my favorite Floyd Mayweather fight, to be exact. But he showcased uh, changing levels, going to the body, going to the head, combinations. He just unleashed the total package, making Arturo Gotti miss, making Arturo Gotti look like he was four times as slower than uh, Floyd Mayweather. You know, uh, the reflexes, it, it was the total package. It was the complete package for Floyd Mayweather. Between Arturo Gotti fight and the Diego Corrales fight, that was my favorite fight from Floyd Mayweather, in which both he dominated, right? And so now Floyd Mayweather is, is pegging this fight with his fighter, Javante Tank Davis, against Leo Santa Cruz's Javante Tank Davis version of his fight with Arturo Gotti. And he feels like Javante Tank Davis is going to showcase his talents uh, and put on a great performance. He gives Leo Santa Cruz his props. Uh, he said that Leo Santa Cruz is definitely a great fighter. Uh, he says that whoever wins this fight should definitely be in the top 10 um, pound for pound. Uh, if they, He says they, they should already be in top 10, but this should be a fight where they for sure in the top 10 in the pound for pound list, right? Uh, and I am going to agree with Floyd Mayweather on this one because I've been saying this. I don't think that Leo Santa Cruz can physically uh, uh, stand his ground when it comes to Javante Tank Davis. Javante Tank Davis is explosive. He has a lot of athletic ability, a lot of power, uh, he has a, a lot of boxing skills. Floyd Mayweather said Javante Tank Davis is probably a better boxer than he is a puncher. He says he just gets known for his punching because not too many guys make it past the sixth round with Javante Tank Davis. We only had one guy to do so, and that was Yuriokis Gamboa in his last fight, and he ended up stopping Yuriokis Gamboa in the 12th round anyway. So, you know, um, not too many people uh, stand the test of Javante Tank Davis's athletic explosive power, right? And uh, Leo Santa Cruz has a wiry frame. He's very active, uh, but he's a smaller guy, right? He's the taller guy, but he's the smaller guy. Uh, he's the taller in stature, but he's smaller in frame, right? Uh, and 
he's not as athletic as Javante Tank Davis. Uh, he's not as uh, mobile as Javante Tank Davis. He's not as elusive as Javante Tank Davis. And to top it all off, Javante Tank Davis is a southpaw. So he's going to be able to hide that left hand against Leo Santa Cruz. I don't think he'll see it coming and change levels, going to the body, coming back up with uppercuts and straight rights. And Leo Santa Cruz is very active. Javante Tank Davis will be able to counter punch Leo Santa Cruz all night. And he's quicker, so he'll be able to get to his target quicker. Not to mention, Leo Santa Cruz does not have the most power in the world. So uh, I don't believe that Javante Tank Davis will be too concerned with Leo Santa Cruz power. Uh, um, more so, he'll be concerned with Leo Santa Cruz output and uh, not losing rounds due to inactivity or Leo Santa Cruz just simply outworking Javante Tank Davis, right? Uh, like I said, Leo Santa Cruz is not the biggest puncher in the world. Uh, he's going to be taller than Javante Tank Davis. Leo Santa Cruz is about, uh, uh, he's 5'8". You know, uh, he has a 69-inch arm reach, you know, which is pretty tall for him, 126-pound, 130-pound division. Uh, Leo Santa Cruz has a record of 37-1-1, one one, uh, 19 knockouts on his resume. So uh, he knocked out a little over half of his uh, um, opponents, right? Uh, but like I said, he doesn't have knockout power, right? Uh, he, he overwhelms you with his activity, and he gets a lot of stoppages. You understand? So with that said, you know, um, but again, his frame is very, very wiry. Uh, and he may have, you know, decisive um, strength on the inside, but I can't see that. And I, yes, his chin is sturdy. You know, um, yes, he hasn't been knocked out. You know, he lost um, to Carl Frampton. You know, that went to the scorecards and he lost that fight. But like I said, he, uh, he doesn't have... He has a wiry frame. Javante Tank Davis is 23 and 0 with 22 by way of knockout. Uh, he's five foot five and a half, uh, and he has a 67 and a half inch arm reach. So Leo Santa Cruz is going to have the height and reach advantage over uh, Javante Tank Davis. But with that said, you know um, he doesn't have anything else over Javante Tank Davis. He doesn't have a foot speed advantage. He doesn't have a power advantage. Uh, Javante Tank Davis has quicker reflexes. Uh, he has quicker hands. And I just expect this to be a showcase fight on the part of Javante Tank Davis. I believe this is going to be his coming out party. I agree with Floyd Mayweather. I think this is it's a pay per view event, so I think it'll be uh, it'll do great as far as pay per view sales. And on top of that, it's going to be a showcase fight. So I think that this is uh, I've been saying this before. Uh, Floyd Mayweather said that this is his uh, Arturo Gotti moment for Javante Tank Davis. I've been telling everybody this is going to be a showcase fight for Javante Tank Davis. And this is no slight, slight against uh, Leo Santa Cruz. It's just styles make fights. And uh, Javante Tank Davis, in my opinion, is a bad style matchup for Leo Santa Cruz. I just believe that. And so I agree with Floyd Miller. Yes, I believe Leo Santa Cruz, uh, his output is going to be his worst um, uh, enemy in this fight. Because he's going to give Javante Tank Davis more and more opportunities to counterpunch him. And he's quicker with more power. So I believe he'll change levels. And I believe he'll end up stopping Leo Santa Cruz. I think he's going to change levels. He's going to go from the body to the head. He's going to uh, go with the straight left to the body. Come back with uppercuts. It's going to be a beautiful performance on the part of Javante Tank Davis, I believe. And I do believe this is going to be a showcase fight for Javante Tank Davis. So I'm agreeing. I don't know if he'll put on the exact same type of performance that uh, Floyd Mayweather did with Arturo Gatti. His Floyd Mayweather's skill set was 10 times above that of Arturo Gatti's, right? Uh, is Javante Tank Davis' skill set 10 times above Leo Santa Cruz? I won't go that far. I believe Leo Santa Cruz is a better fighter than Arturo Gatti was, right? Um, and I think that Obviously, and I know that Floyd Miller is a better fighter than Javante Tank Davis. So when you put those two tangibles together, I don't know if you could get uh, Floyd Miller's performance or top his performance against Arturo Gotti. You could get a similar performance against Arturo Gotti from Javante Tank Davis. And that's what I think you're going to get. And I think he's going to stop uh, Leo Santa Cruz. I think that Leo Santa Cruz team is going to throw in the towel uh, by the, the eighth round. I truly believe that. If it gets that far, I see a stop. I don't see Tank knocking him out. 
I see a couple of knockdowns in the fight, and I think that eventually Leo Santa Cruz team is going to throw in the towel. They're banking on Javante Tank Davis having stamina issues and making it to the second half of the fight and not working Javante Tank Davis. Leo Santa Cruz even said part of the game plan is, you know, staying away from Javante Tank Power early because they are aware that he could hurt them early and often if he if he lands some punches. So that lets me know that, you know, um, their game plan is going to be to survive the first half of the fight and then outwork him the second half of the fight. And I don't think that's going to happen because Leo Santa Cruz is not the quickest foot guy in the world. So Javante Tank Davis will be able to be in his chest, cut the ring off, and uh, land his punches. So I just can't see it. And I do agree with Floyd Mayweather. This is going to be um, a showcase fight on the part of Javante Tank Davis. But uh, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.